Hello and welcome. I'm George Crump, Lead Analyst with Storage Switzerland. Today we're going to be kicking off a new series of test drives and we're going to be focusing on the Twinstrata Cloud Array. Uh, it, this is a iSCSI based uh, hybrid cloud, cloud storage uh, device that's available as a virtual machine uh, and we're going to be putting it through its paces in its lab. It comes, uh, you just download it right off of their website. You can see here that we've got uh, it started up. Um, it gives us a, a web address to go to to manage the array. And then the other thing we need that's important is uh, be able to log in to their uh, Cloud Array portal. And we've done that. Uh, we're going to, for the purposes of this test drive, at least initially, we're going to go ahead and use the uh, cloud storage service that uh, they provide. So we have a license tag and things like that there. So the first step then is to go ahead and open up the management console. And so it, it detects a new installation and immediately uh, puts us into uh, its lightning install, which uh, is very impressive. So we'll just walk through these screens. Uh, this is um, all being done without manuals. It just shows you how easy it is to uh, get this set up. So the first test, uh, the first step is to uh, install the set up our uh, system here and these are the uh, credentials that we use to get in uh, set up our uh, cloud, ar cloud array portal and here it's going to ask us if we want to use compression and deduplication as well as encryption we'll go ahead and do that uh, just for the provider, uh, that's going to be, uh, since we selected uh, Twinstrata, what we do is come into here and uh, for this trial version we're using S3 as our provider. Just take the standard uh, stuff here, and we can use uh, reduce redundancy if we want to. We don't. We're not going to choose that for now. So, so that's uh, the simple uh, configuration. Um, the we can set up our uh, first volume uh, automatically. So we'll go ahead and create a uh, 25 gig volume automatically map it to the first host and there we're ready to go and now from there we just go to the cloud array control and you can see we get uh, green indications that everything's connected well so everything's done there so the next step is to go to a Windows host uh, or a Linux host and uh, attach and make sure we can mount an iSCSI volume. So uh, we will do that. We will do that here by going to the control panel. And so what you do from the Windows side is you go to uh, Discovery and hit Discover Portal and you put in the IP address of the uh, Twinstrata uh, virtual machine. And uh, there we go. So it automatically picked it up for us. And then we go to Targets 
and you can see that it's uh, right there and we just hit connect and then it's connected so with that out of the way then we just come back over to the twin, Spr twin strata uh, management screen and we provision a volume So we'll create a new volume. We already did one, but we'll go ahead and create a new one here. Select which client we want to map it to, and there's our virtual machine. And then just click provision. So with that, we're ready to go. Uh, everything is up you can see the volume right there um, we can kind of look and we'll see a little bit of activity as we uh, mount it so from from this standpoint on the window side we just go and to uh, disk management and uh, find the uh, volume you can see it's right there it's 25 gig volume so we just bring it online Go ahead and initialize it. And then we'll go ahead and partition it as a new simple volume. And then from there, we'll just let it format, and um, away it goes. So there you go. You can see the volume is uh, partitioned and formatted. So if we go over to computer, we can see that the volume is uh, there and ready to go. So the only thing left to do is to maybe copy some data uh, to this volume. So let's go ahead and create a folder. And we'll go over here. We'll just there's a presentation. So that quickly we were able to copy the data to the drive. So that's pretty quick. And then we'll uh, make sure we can open it. And there it is. So up and running, uh, working uh, very, very well. Uh, again, probably one of the easier installs that we've done in uh, quite some time. Uh, very, very effective. Uh, you know, take just a few minutes to uh, get a iSCSI SAN up and running uh, with cloud uh, as the back end. So in, in future videos, we will go through and show some of the cloud functionality as well as um, running applications on it, doing using the product for backups, uh, archive, things like that. But from an initial setup and configuration and using the, the uh, system, you can see very easy to do and pretty much anything you do with a local hard disk drive, you can now do with uh, Twin Strata and then have all the uh, benefits of a cloud for uh, backup, disaster recovery, uh, and uh, additional data sets. So thank you very much again for tuning in. This is George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland.